today I'll be showing you the integration between Peskit and CodeReader. CodeReader is a smart barcode scanning app that allows you to scan your passes, so your membership card, your coupons, and then take action with this scan in the Peskit system. At the moment, what we support for membership card is validating of membership cards and checking in and checking out of members. For coupons, we support the redemption of coupons. So I'll be showing you today how to set up the code reader integration, the Peskit side, and what you need to do on the code reader side to enable this. So first things first, uh, I've already set up a couple of demo projects in my account here. So we have a loyalty program and I have some coupon programs. So I'm going to start off with the loyalty program. It's a very simple loyalty program. I've just gone and did our basic design. So let's have a quick look at the design. So we just have our points on the front. Uh, we have name, we have tier. Now the important thing to note here is that the barcode in this case needs to either contain the Peskit generated ID, which is the ID we put in there by default, or it needs to contain the external ID. And that's the ID that you can set when you uh, generate the coupon either via, sorry, the membership card or the coupon either via the API, um, or if you do it via the admin portal. So in this case, if you go to the barcode settings here, then uh, when you click on barcode contents, you can select what you want in there. So in this case, I'm having the pass ID. You can also put the external ID in there. So I'm not going to touch this now. Let's leave the pass ID in there. So that's all set up. Uh, and then we can just simply go to settings here where you have integrations. And under integrations at the top, you'll find code reader. You can click configure here. And it's as simple as just saying, I want to enable this integration and then selecting the events that you want to allow. Now for membership cards, these events are captured in uh, Peskit's database as well. So what you can do later as well is then export the event data. So um, once this is set up, you can then run a CSV export, for example, like who you checked in, which code reader user checked in, what time they were checked in uh, and you can even do additional metadata and code reader if you want to capture for example uh, their temperature or for a coupon you want to capture their full bill amount so i'm going to show you all of that so for now let's just enable all three events here and we click save now the important data that you're going to be needing when enabling the code reader set up inside code reader are these urls so we have copy buttons for you here to make that very easy that's all we need to do on the Peskit side to enable this. Now, the code reader side is, is very simple. I'm not going to do a full tutorial on code reader itself. They have excellent knowledge base and help articles there, but I'm going to show you what we need to set up in order to enable the Peskit bit. So I'm just going to sign in. And what we need to do is we are making use of code readers, third party scan functionality, we're not going to use the code reader database to scan our data, what we're going to be doing is setting up a service that directly passes the payload that it scans through to Peskit. All the validation happens on the Peskit side, we capture the event data on the Peskit side, and then we return a successful response to code reader. So we purely use code reader for its functionality of scanning. What you can do as well is you can set up your users in code reader so you can give different users access to different functionalities. So for example, let's say if you have a um, food court, you could have people at the door checking users in or checking members in and the bar staff, for example, could verify members to give them discounts. So you can set up different services and different services can have different user access. So let's create our first service. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be set up three services for this membership card. We're going to be setting up a service for check in the service for checkout and a service for verifying the members. Now, in addition to make this work, we also have to set up um, our um, mobile device so that the code reader app is installed on there. So what I already have here is my uh, iPhone with code reader installed on this. So first things first, I'm going to add a service. And for this type, you have to select scan to third, third party server. So this is important. Like this is the only way we, we can make this work with Peskit. So let's click this. And now we want to say, what does it do? So where do we want to send our scans? So let's go back to our settings here. Now this is where the three URLs become important. So let's first do our check in service. Let's copy this URL, go back to code reader. We paste this in here. And then let's check this box here that says skip our server and go directly to yours. So this basically means that everything, all the validation is all going to be done on Peskit's end. So we create this. 
and now we just give it some data. So this is important because when your users install the code reader app, so let's say you're Steph that you want to give access to scan, this is how it shows up in the app. So for this, let's call it check-in service. And I mean, you, you can put whatever you want in here, but as long as you make it clear enough so that your staff knows what to do with this. This we keep the same. We save this. Uh, here is where you can say which users will have access to it. Now, in this case, I've just set up my account to just be me. So I'll leave me here. But again, you can add multiple users to it if, if you have multiple uh, users that you want to set. If you do have multiple people scanning it in your organization, I would recommend creating multiple users because ultimately in the report, you can then see which users scanned in, which members at what time, etc. Uh, this part here, questions, I'm going to skip this for now, but I will check back in later on on this. This allows us to pass additional data into PassKit. So let's say at the door, especially with the whole COVID situation now, you're asking or you're taking temperature. And after you scan a membership card, you take the temperature and you want to put the temperature against the check-in. You can do so by setting additional form fields up here uh, that then are being sent along to PassKit and then are stored in the PassKit database. So not going to do that for now, but we can later on. So for now, I'm just going to skip this, save and continue. And then advanced, um, some other things you can do, improve performance by targeting a specific barcode format. Now, in this case, we know we have PDFs uh, for 17 codes. I'm going to turn this on. Um, other things that are valuable here is we want device location is one we can scan on. I'm sorry, can turn on as well. So what this means is that the GPS coordinates of the device that's doing the scan are being sent along to Peskit and are later on going to be available when you when you're exporting your data from Peskit. So let's just turn all this on. That's it. Now we're done. So this is enabled now. So now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to issue a new membership card here. So let's add myself in here. And for this membership card, let's install it because I'm going to be using my mobile device to do the scanning. So I'm just going to install it into Google Pay here. Cool, so that's my card here. I'm just going to preview it fully in the browser. Here we have my mobile device. I'm just going to put this to the side. Let's bring up the code reader app. Okay, I'm just going to log in with my account. So again, each of your users can have their own account for this here. And now we can see here that I have one service defined, which is the check-in service, which matches what I just set up inside of the code reader uh, web portal. So I'm going to select this. You can see here there's a description that I put in for it. Go into continue and I can simply say tap to scan. I will point this at my card. That picks it up and we can now see check the member Patrick customers. It pulls up my name. It shows me I'm valid and everything there. Now let's say if I were going to um, disable this event, right? We no longer want this enabled. I can turn it off from here. And if I would try to scan this card again, now it's going to be invalid. So now we can see it's no longer valid. And the same happens if I would delete a member, let's say somebody has a screenshot or if you would temporarily disable a member um, or a member is no longer valid, um, expires, for example, when the member is expired, it also no longer um, properly scanned. So all that stuff is taken care of here. Now let's quickly set up a couple of the other events and I'll show you guys what we can do with sending additional data along. So if we go back into the code reader app here, so let's say we want to do a separate service now. So we're doing check-in at the door, but let's say at the bar, for example, we want to offer an additional uh, verification service to give people a discount. We can do that as well. So let's do add service here. Again, scan to third-party servers, what we got to enable. We need our URL. So let's go back into our integration, pick up our verify member URL. Paste that in here, skip the server, create service, cool. Again, we give it a name. A description. Save and continue. Users, again, just me, no one else. 
now question so let's add a question and so there is some predefined ones here but i think what i want to add is not here so this things like order quantity i want to say bill amount so only this service we want the question what is the total bill amount and again make sure that this this text this language is familiar to your staff so they know what to do with it like it's very important to take into account operational excellence so make sure that you train your staff don't just deploy this do proper training proper rollout make sure that your staff knows what they're doing and what the steps are they have to take answer type short answer no that's correct we want single line um let's see can we do anything with the do, do nope just short answer total bill amount single line uh numeric entry actually let's do that and create now where do we want this we want this before submitting any scan so this means you can also put it here which means you only need to enter it once but in this case it's going to be different for every scan that we do so we want to send it along with every scan now you can do multiple questions here so you can do what's the bill amount how many people are in the party like whatever data you want to collect whatever is important to your process uh, whatever is important to your reporting you can add this in here this will only be shown to the people scanning so it's only valid for the staff but again keep in mind uh, the operational uh, challenges so like you don't want to have a question or 10 questions here because it's just going to delay the checkout so it depends on what what it's used for um, but yeah up to you what you want to put here save and continue so now we have this set up again we want to collect the device location so we're going to save this that's it. Now we have the verify service set up. So if I pull my app back up here, so let's put this back. And if we go back to the code reader app, I'll reload it here and we should see two services. Cool. So we get check in, which I've disabled and we get verify member for discount. So if I now select this service here, we can see this is for verify members. Continue scan now it's asking me for data collection so now it's asking me to put in the total bill amount i said 200 submit and again now it says verify member patrick and member isn't tier bronze so the verify member um, returns slightly different data um, it also tells you what tier the member is in so this data has now been captured in Pascade. your bar staff can now take action up on this so let's say patrick is in bronze so they give him 10 percent discount if it's silver you give him 15 percent. whatever logic you want to implement there this is just a very simple tool to help you verify the tier that the member is in now so it's very easy to switch between the services too so i can just go back here check in right so it's super simple to, to navigate and to use so that's simply how you use it with membership cards so let's let's exit this and now let's quickly have a look at what is the actual data that we have captured on this so we go back into our portal and we go to members here um, i believe this is uh, member events here so we can see there's three events and that's correct because we did three scans there so event type we can uh, what else do we want maybe address so yeah we can see here my member id check in check out verified address we can even see the user id that was being used to scan its external user id date so all this data that we get comes along here so data was scanned user id which matches the user id that's used inside code reader so you can map this back to your um, users in here so you can see this is me user id 398795 which then matches up with what we have here. Um, easy to use. You can go in here. Um, member events, search your data, export your data. And this will just show up in my mailbox. Easy is already here. There we go. So I get all my data here now. So I can do further analysis. So whatever, whatever I want to do with it, I can do with it. So we offer basic reporting inside of the portal um, and a bit more elaborate reporting in here. So that's what you can do with um, membership cards. So then let's have a quick look also at So a quick look at coupons then. So 
So the coupon design here, simple coupon design. Um, for this to work again, like I will need to embed the pass ID or the external ID in here. So I'm just going to update this quickly because I see I don't have the um, correct identifier in here. So let's put the external ID in. Save this. Go back to our coupon. Turn the integration on. Now we can see it's just redeem only. So I'm going to enable this, save this. And then we want to copy this URL. I can go back into code reader. I'm going to set up another service now for redeeming the coupon. Again, third party server is what we want to use. Paste this here. description and title scan directly to our server that's correct just for me um, not going to do any other other questions with this save it again we want the device location let's set it up so that we also store the QR code uh, sorry that we detect QR code because this was a um, this was a program with QR code set, I believe. Yep, QR code on the front, so just to make scanning a little bit quicker, QR code. You don't have to set this, by the way. You can set it, it'll just make it a bit faster when scanning. We'll save this. That's it, we're done. So now let's issue a new coupon. Visit the URL. Again, I'm going to install this into Google Pay because I don't have, um, I'm going to use my device for scanning. Let's bring our device up again, see if this works as expected. Okay, refresh this list here. There we go, our redeem coupon endpoint, continue. Tap. Cool, coupon redeemed. And what this will have done is it will automatically switch it to the redeem template if set up. And yep, so for this one, I, I set up a very simple redeem template design. So you can check some of our other knowledge base videos on how to um, set up redeem templates. But what it does essentially is inside of your designs. Actually, we can quit this. Um, Inside of your designs, you have a regular design, you have a redeemed design. So for the redeemed design, I've just removed the barcode um, because it's a single use coupon. So if we go into coupons here, we check the last one that was created, we can now see the redemption data here. So we have additional data here that says redeemed. We have the redemption date. Um, so all that data is passed on into here. Um, and there's more rich data available through the API, um, similar to what we have for the um, what we saw for the member event so things like the user id um so if i would to if i were to export these and then or for the last coupon we should have additional redemption data yeah so we get things here like redeemed we have the redemption date we have the redemption let long. We see that it came from the code reader scanning app. We get the redemption reference. So all the data, all the data is being passed in here. So you still have the similar rich richness of the data that you get via the um, via the code reader and points that we that we receive here. So yeah, that's it. So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea on what what you can do with the code reader and Pesky integration. And looking forward to see what you guys manage to build with this. Cheers, guys.